here at Vanguard, we have the veterinary assisting program and it's unique to the county in Vet One, other than just dogs and cats, they're also learning all the terminology and the basics like that. Vet Two, they're learning about all the tools that are common in a veterinary practice. Um, and then Vet Three, they learn um, more about like restraint and bandaging and things like that. So it all builds upon each other. And they also have the opportunity to earn their certified vet assistant certificate. If they want to go into work into a vet's office, a lot of times they would start somewhere like in the kennel or um, cleaning rooms or things like that. You know, some of those lower level entry positions is what we're preparing them for here. And maybe they don't want to go on to become a veterinarian. Maybe that's, that's just what they want to work with animals. And they want to do something more like that. They can take this knowledge and use that for careers. So whether that be a small animal veterinarian or a large animal veterinarian, but then from there we can branch out. They could work at a small specific equine hospital or training horses, grooming horses, and then all that even for all the other different types of animals. So there's all of those different, like I said, entry levels and different skill sets. Um, it just kind of depends on what they want to be focused on. Maybe someone isn't quite cut out to be a veterinarian. It's very competitive. It's a lot of schooling. It takes a long time. It's hard to get into vet school, but there's so many other avenues that they can go into and not everyone has to be a veterinarian. There's other opportunities. Thank you.